Don't believe, just know. Cymatic TV, turning vibration into reality. Hi, welcome to Cymatic TV with yours truly, uh, Tom Lawless. Uh, today, we've got uh, a guest with us who is a, a long-term astrologer, uh, and we call her Silver Phoenix. Um, and we're going to be going through basically those changes that I think everybody's noticed that's been going on around us, not only in the Earth, but also in the human um, human species. And, um, you know, we're going to be discussing about those uh, changings and the events that might be coming up in the near future. So, Silver Phoenix, hello, how are you doing? Hello, Tom. I'm well. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Very well. Good. So, um, we've just as a quick introduction to people so then they get and get to know you. We've been talking, um, must be about sort of 10, 15 years now. Um, yes. Yeah. On the astrology event, uh, the, the front and stuff like that. And uh, we were talking the other day and we said it would be better if we shared this information. So, uh, that's what we're going to be doing. If you can just give us a, a, a little brief sort of um, resume of, of how you got to where you are today within the astrology world and stuff like that, uh, right. just so people can understand. Yeah, I first got interested years and years ago when I had a magazine uh, called She given to me by the office staff where I worked just before I left to have my first baby. And in right. those days, you didn't go back to your work. Anyway, I had this um, astrological profile done and didn't think much of it, put it away about 10 years after I was tidying up and came across it. And I thought, well, just how did she come to say what she said? Mm. So I looked around in all the bookshops, couldn't find anything hardly at all on astrology. And bearing in mind, this is nearly 40 years ago, no computers at all. Um, exactly. And in the end, I did find um, the Faculty of Astrological Studies in London mm. who ran courses on astrology. Anyway, I took their courses and got the certificates and the rest of it. And I've been into astrology ever since. Astrology has changed a lot since I first started. Mm -hmm. It's moved away from people wanting to know, am I going to marry a tall, dark, handsome stranger? <laughs> to how do I become conscious? How do I spiritually progress? Yeah. Um, which I never do astrology as... Um, fortune telling is just not what astrology is at all right. My, is it, astrology is totally maths based everything okay. all my all the figures i use are in a, an american ephemeris for the 21st century and yeah. anybody can buy the book anybody can look at what i look and anybody can learn what i learn you might yeah. need 20 or 30 years to learn how to analyze properly but there we are but i guess i guess when you started out, obviously there was no computers and stuff like that. So it might have been a little bit more rigorous in, in your days. Absolutely. Because yes. you these days you can, put, you can put up a date on a computer and it, it sort in of shows, you, shows you everything, as yes. it were, you know. I'm so glad I did learn then because I had to learn the whys and wherefores of why you mm. have records grade planets and what are retrograde planets they seem to be moving backwards as seen from earth well, right. they're not particularly moving backwards but they do affect things a lot depending on Definitely. which planet it is yeah. um, so i've been doing astrology since then and i'm so pleased now that it's moved into a more serious it's taken more seriously mm -hmm. um, because there's so much happening astrologically mm -hmm. and has, everything goes in cycles and I mean everything that's whether it's the smallest insect or the universe itself mm -hmm. there is a cycle to the whole lot some are thousands of years long some are very short cycles mm -hmm. and at the moment we are going through um, a cycle which in a way started in 2008 when the planet Pluto moved into the sign of Capricorn and well, that's this is all to do with sorry to interject but this is all to do with like the rhythms of life that people yeah, have within their own lives but also the planet yeah. has because we were saying the other day how's it all affect everything and we were sort of saying each of us have our own rhythm the earth has our own rhythm the sun has its own rhythm uh, and the the sun is part of the galaxy who has its own rhythm and then that goes into the galaxy goes into the universe into the universal rhythm and although the human rhythm might not be exactly the same as a universal rhythm, 
it is an instrument in that orchestra, you know, of different rhythms as they interconnect. interconnect. And they all do interact mm. and they all do interconnect. Yeah. Galactic rhythms are very present on, on planet Earth at the moment. Yeah. Uh, but so are the, and the universal ones, and so our own solar system is very much affected as well. We and go into we, a lot of that on this, this channel as well, how the sun has changed its rhythm and activity hugely you know so it is a is a huge effect on the machine yeah. but also um now that saturn is um, also in capricorn and uh, aspecting saturn and jupiter and mars the whole lot of them mm. uh, what we're seeing and we'll look back on this time if humanity does survive we'll look back at this time and see the new birthing which is actually taking place now Mm. And it's not going to be instant, it's going to take place over some years and going to affect the generation that's born now, of course, are going to have all these planets, Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, Mars, all in aspect. Um, so they're the ones who are going to help with this new birthing. Now, we also have free will mm. to mess this up. So well, human... if we look back in 2008, when you say this sort of like... Um... It's almost like the labour pains started, I guess. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And in but 2008, we had the financial crisis. Yes. Which Indeed. was a, you know, a prelude to, to, you know, what we're sort of living and what we're coming into now, which is, you know, uh, 12 years later down the line. Which is a Jupiter which, uh, quite return. an important yeah. rhythm within yeah. the humans as well, you know. Jupiter um, return, 12 years, 11 to 12 years. But what we're seeing is the true change. Um, if you think of it, so many links in a chain, mm. lots of links have been broken and are being broken. Right. When it gets to a certain number of links broken, we can't repair them and we have to move forward. Do you but think, to, do you think the humans have a, have, a, have a consequence on this? Or is this, is, is this just literally imposed upon us by the stars no because we all have free will okay so this is this free will we you were talking about right yeah if we didn't have free will we have free will to choose whether we go forward or we don't we look we must look back and learn look forward and live mm -hmm. or talk what we die right That's okay choice. we have got a choice but we can choose to ignore that that choice mm -hmm. but if we do humanity does that at its peril which which planet does have which, which planet has a a cycle of eleven or twelve year cycle? Is that Saturn? Jupiter. It's Jupiter. Jupiter. I was wondering yeah. if it was which one it was the other because I knew there was one of the planets that has that sort of cycle. So that runs into that two thousand and eight, and it sort yeah. of kicks off in two thousand and nineteen. So that's that yes. whole eleven year cycle, you know, coming yeah. through, coming through to fruition, coming back round. But what is very interesting, Pluto was only discovered in 1930. So mm. we haven't had Pluto physically in our charts for 100 years yet. So right. it's still it's manifesting. Right yes, it's still manifesting its effects, right. which is actually fantastic. It doesn't look fantastic now. But Tom, believe me, the, the things that are meant to be coming through are mind boggling. I mean, years ago, when I was married, I didn't have a car, I didn't have a mobile phone because there weren't any, didn't have the internet, didn't have any foreign travel. And look at it now, we've been abroad, we've got passports, we've done this, that and the other. And then if you said, oh, you're going to go to Australia? What, really? You know, you wouldn't have believed it. But now it's, it's a normal thing. Oh, you're going to, going to Australia? That's almost like popping off down to the shops almost now. <laughs> um, everybody has a computer. Computers weren't even in a home, let alone invented, really, for home yeah. use. And so it's we've phenomenal, all, the progress we've done since yes. the 1980s, really. Yeah, and um, that, that also is, is Uranus has an effect on that. Uranus okay. at the moment is in the sign of Taurus. That breaks up and shakes up property property mm -hmm. everything your property right. um i don't mention it now but because we're taking up too much time but in a future one the the prospects for property are mind-boggling because well, i think i think after christmas uh and i think we're already sort of seeing the iceberg as the titanic gradually plows into it as a human race after mm -hmm. all this um 
this the, the business of 2000 the beginning of 2020 um you know and the state of the the economies across the world at this present time and what we're going into i think you know the property market is going to have some serious uh serious um you know repercussions, repercussions over the yeah. next over the next year yeah like that. at the moment it's bouncing upwards uh, upwards and upwards mm -hmm. but by march next year you'll yeah. see a leveling out okay so it should find its should, should find its even keel sort of spring next year yes yeah okay if not a bit before you'll see it coming because people won't be able to get mortgages if they haven't got jobs well this could tie into that you know that bit of whole bit of um that whole sort of consciousness which i think is you know personally speaking i think this is going to be a real key figure the human consciousness obviously will have an effect upon human activities such as um you know markets finances um you know social situations and stuff like that um but you know what do you what do you what do you think about the earth itself you know and how does that key in to that whole sort of consciousness what do, what do, what have humans been living and what can they live in the future what can they do in the future in order to get with this vibration and uh you know and what sort of changes do you think will be coming down the coming down the well, down the down the tube governments, governments as they are at the moment will hardly be in existence in 50 years time people okay. will be ruling themselves they will not want to be ruled by these very faceless or self-seeking egoistic money making all for them 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 right humanity will be fed up with that mm -hmm. but the, the vibration of planet earth itself mm -hmm. um will have quite an effect on how people think the more people who realize just what's going on in the planet that we're trashing it and we can only trash it so far before it self-destructs yeah exactly well i don't think she'll I think she'll almost she'll shake off the fleas, as it were. You know what I mean? The dog. Will, yes, absolutely. Yeah. We are, and you know, maybe this this consciousness of humans, of how we apply ourselves in our daily lives, and this is the interactions which we do have with everybody. Just saying hello to someone as you pass them by on the street, if you make eye contact, just say morning. You know, will change huge amounts. Yes, what happens to the earth. Step it's really yes. weird. It's the small things that are going to change things. And also, the numbers of humans who are actually becoming more conscious is rising so <coughs> greatly, Tom, mm. that it's the hundredth monkey scenario. Right. So you know what I mean by that? Yeah. No, I don't. Go on, tell me. Oh, right. <laughs> right. One monkey was picking potatoes. Oh, yeah. 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 Which and um, others, others copied him. By the time the hundredth monkey had done this, suddenly yeah. all the monkeys on the other side of the island were doing it as well. Exactly. It's an idea which has a power of its own, and that power, when it has reached a certain level, then becomes common knowledge. Mm. I mean, years ago, if you had said, um, uh, someone said to you, "Oh yes, I'm going to have um, going to, to um, learn mindfulness." mindfulness what's that it wasn't even thought of mm. being done but now mindfulness well-being mental health is getting so much prominence and that's the way that things are meant to be going yeah humans can yeah. Shape and choose if they, they are doing that and they are wanting that mm. i was i i said you know i i equated it to exactly the same thing where so like i'd be sitting in my garden and saying to myself it would be really nice to have a car that doesn't pollute that is mm. self-driven and what have you, you know it's the ultimate dream car uh, or yeah. transport because it you know might not necessarily be a car and i'll be sending that out into what i've called the ambient field of vibration and eventually some young guy in, or young lady in um in india sort of kind of sitting outside kind of goes you has that eureka moment of how to make that vehicle and um you know, I, I, like a lot of people, contribute to that Eureka moment and we give it like a, a present to someone who is really involved in it and that helps them to understand the situation. 
yes um, that's, a, that's a hundredth monkey thing where if enough people think that right idea it has a life of its own and comes into being totally so we, it, can, we are we are creating we are creating our own future we are yes yeah. you can think it you can make it happen mm. one thing which will happen just going off off at a tangent yeah. is um stem cell um people going into stem cell right. treatment that is meant to be the way forward if you lose an arm and a leg you just grow another one that would be to do a stem cell that's oh, okay. one thing which is coming in on the medical side of things i did say we're always eventually ending up in in one of my other videos when i when i was talking about karma um that we started out as plant lives uh, life and gradually worked our way up through the animal world and then became humans and we're eventually going to be coming back to the tree life because they're the most wise things of all and it's that what you're saying is we're going to end up like trees and where we'll be able to regrow our arm you know which is yes way, it's quite encouraging it's probably still quite a far way down the line but the more people apply to it surely the quicker we will go absolutely hmm. because we're, we're meant to be um medically in years to come people look back and say my gosh it's always almost like the middle ages yeah can you imagine you, you go for your yearly checkup the doctor says just stand be behind that screen please take your clothes off lights the screen up and it shows everything in color so if you've got any problem it'll show up just like that you're talking about my healing now that's that's what happens when oh. people come and see me i i sort of they they get they get filtered through the energy and that's exactly how i see people so yeah, you know, yes. we may not necessarily need machines uh, to do this in the future. We might actually need um, just a change of consciousness more than yeah, anything. Exactly, else. Tom. Exactly, yeah. change of consciousness can actually bring things into being at yeah. the speed of light. Really can. So you know, if if we just sort of uh, give the listeners, um, give the watchers, um, uh, the people watching this, uh, an idea of just what's going on with our solar system and the Earth. Um, the vibrations of the sun is a cycle. Cycle. It has a cycle of around of about eleven years. So we're back to that eleven-year cycle. Yeah. Um, and um, we're just about to go in to start another cycle at the moment. Um, but the last cycle has been a lot lower than predicted, and many people are sort of saying that we're coming into a cycle that's going to be pretty much non-existent. The yeah. Earth's vibration itself, in in terms of geomagnetic force is reducing incredibly um we must have lost around about i reckon we've lost around about 25 percent compared to what it was say like 200 years ago the magnetic field of the earth um and we've got the north pole and south pole that are wandering at the moment uh, along a very fast uh, track at the moment which we haven't seen for hundreds of years either and that could be what we think may is a possible the start of a uh, pole shift, um, which obviously go heavily into the book I've got out called The Event. Um, and this will change, make geological changes upon the Earth. Is there anything in the astrological event where you've got like alignments with planets and stuff like that that could affect the Earth? Because obviously, if we've got a lower magnetic field, we're going to be affected a lot more by the outer vibrations of the planets and, and the sun. Yeah, because at the moment, we've still got Pluto um, in Capricorn, Saturn in Capricorn, Jupiter in Capricorn, all Earth signs. I don't think there's hardly anything in air signs at the moment. I'll just have a look. You've got, but the, what we've got at the moment is a very much a levelling of the playing field because mm -hmm. it's too lopsided that the, the the energies in on the planet that brought about a lot by humans that have gone lopsided they're out mm -hmm. of balance out of kilter the yeah. other thing which a lot of people have um not thought about lately is that um, the planet saturn will actually be going into the sign of aquarius and that goes in december this year and we are starting also um the age of Aquarius, going far more into the age of Aquarius. Right. And that is humanitarian, people caring for people. Mm. Um, Which is what happened. Yes. We can't keep smacking each other over the head like this forever. Well, we can do, but it ain't going to last for long, and you might as well just kiss your kids goodbye, you know what I mean? It's Absolutely. 
Because yeah. the other interesting thing is, next to this December, also Jupiter goes into the sign of Aquarius as well. All right. And those two together are life changing. As a Capricorn myself, I'm put, I should be really chuffed about having all these planets with me at the moment. Uh, no, you're all, right. you're all right in your chart because you're um, right at the beginning of Capricorn. All this is gone. You've done your bit. Oh, yeah, exactly. This is why the books, are coming out. the books are coming yeah. out now. But now is the time of reaping the rewards of what's gone by. Okay. Well, this well, is what I'm enjoying, right? right? About. Yeah. They're so, right at the know, end of is there any particular sort of signs that, um, you know, because we're going to be doing this, you know, once every two weeks a month. We'll see how it goes, see how what we, can, what we can do between us to get this on a regular sort of basis. Is there any sort of, um, you know, is there any sort of signs that, 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 that should be, you know, having a bit of a heads up over the next sort of two weeks? Um, you know, obviously we can't give out dates for the earth because that's what I've discovered. It's, very difficult on the timing front, but it's certainly the changes here for the earth and it's just good to pay attention to everything that's going on around us. But is there anything you can sort of hand out uh, to the star sign? I can say, say, Tom, is there's so many aspects going on, uh -huh. far, far more than you'd usually get. But right. the sun at the moment is in the sign of a Virgo. Right. So now that means Virgos, we should be thinking they're thinking about planning for the future thinking about planning mm -hmm. things and especially those born around the 20th of september right. have got a real opportunity in their lives for helping others and helping the planet progress which i know Whatever that goes like that yeah mm. um and taurus some of the early taurians sorry taurus um then the first 10 degrees right. that is about um 21st of yeah, 21st no. of april to the, yeah, the, the, yeah. the end people of the around the, around the beginning of may hmm. um they might be thinking well why the hell do i bother with all this well all my plans don't work out at all right. but what they're being told or shown is that this is an opportunity for them to move forward if they've been stuck with anything in their lives and the, and the opposite to that is May, June, November, but the first of November as well. Um, mm. Those people, yeah, for me, yeah, first of November. Those people as well would be thinking the same thing. Uh, but this is a lot of those those people born around those dates. Um, instead of it being negative, this is a one in a, a once in a lifetime opportunity for them to chuck out things that are not working they're working hard at them might, might have been working hard for years but they're mm. just not working out and you're thinking well is it time for me to just look at something the other way around or do something different mm. quite a lot of those people will be changing their lives um, in a much more um positive way it could be some of these people are have been like i know uh one chap i did chart for recently um he's working from home he lives in southampton he's um uh pays i think six about six thousand pounds a year for his rail ticket mm -hmm. and he spends three hours a day traveling okay. yeah and he's suddenly he's one of these i'm talking about and he's suddenly woken up to the fact what the hell am i doing mm -hmm. i've got three hours extra now because i'm working from home three hours extra a day and i'm six thousand pounds a year better off so do I want to go back to work in an office in London? No, I don't. So he's decided, he's just on the cusp of do I or don't I? And so I didn't say do this or do that. I just said, what's happening in his life? Mm. And he says, when he looks at that, he says, it's like a light shining on it. Mm. Oh, hey, I'm not going back to that life ever. So yeah. that is the sort of thing that people can actually be having happen in their lives. The mm. other thing is with um, people who are born under the sign of cancer, roughly about... Um, roughly about the 18th 19th 20th to the 22nd mm -hmm. um they are perhaps think think that life is never going to be better again and there's going to be hard hard work forever mm -hmm. uh, but they also have got things that are changing in their lives mm -hmm. and they do have a met a way of if you can get down to the um lcd the lowest common denominator right a lot of people aren't they haven't been able to get down to the actual what is the problem mm. um to give you a this week, 
this week there was um you know the vibration that was coming through was all to do with the root chakra right yeah all to do with the earth and stuff like that so and it was that's exactly what you know it the, is being filtrating through the lowest common denominator sort of thing a real sort of sorting stuff out that is you know really at the base of a lot of things mm. you know? um, people uh, also with saturn and jupiter going into aquarius and the ripples are beginning to be felt um very soon mm. i should think about um oh, november time right um, people will suddenly be able to see things they've been doing for years have no relevance in their life anymore so it gives um, them a lot more time to wake up and get on board <laughs> people are going to suddenly have eureka moments this year right because the planetary setup which is not easy to say the no, well, not easy not. at all so but, don't take it all about, i guess the i guess the best advice would be don't take it all upon your shoulders, all of your shoulders. Spread, spread the, you know, spread the, the love, but also spread the, 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 the weight of carrying this change through with, with people around you, you know. Oh, it goes from the lowest level. If you live in a, say, in a village or town or a city, uh, in a village you've got a parish council, town you've got a town council, mm. city councillors, district councillors, um, put the, some of the load onto them. They should be yeah. looking forward to their area, their patch, and helping those people locally yeah. rather than just saying, well, I've got to have a Zoom meeting because we can't meet up. But they are still there, all the councillors there. Put some of, the, on, some of the responsibility onto other people. Not, don't carry it all yourself. Well, that would be nice, but unfortunately, as we said earlier on, you know, that, that, that disconnection is happening and people are much more going to be much more concerned about sort of community factors. We've been running this video a long time now, so I'm going to, we're going to have to cut it off. Otherwise we'll never, it would take thousands of years to upload it and everything will be under <laughs> history. We will be doing some more stuff in the future. Um, we'll be doing a regular blog about this, just talking about more aspects. So this was just like a, a teaser and more than anything else, just to get people uh, to understand the sort of things we're going into. Um, okay. If you like this video, yeah, so you wanted to say something? Oh, yeah, but uh, people can ask questions and we can answer yeah, questions. Yeah, exactly. Totally, yeah. People can ask questions. You can post in the comments below. Um, you know, if you like this video, please subscribe to uh, Cymatic TV. Click that bell. Hit, or hit that bell, as I've been told to say. Hit that bell and, um, you know, share and like. It helps with the algorithms of the computers of YouTube and etc. Um, as we go forward with these blogs, we will be getting a little bit more precise and specific maybe to signs and etc. cetera. Um, in the future, we have obviously the discussions that come out on the Friday night and the Sunday night on our channel. And uh, we should also be having the Astro Flower um, coming out, which is part of a book series that are coming out through Cymatic Press as well. So first things first, I'd just like to thank uh, Silver Phoenix for being with us. As per usual, an absolute pleasure to speak to you. And um, we will speak again very soon. Bye. Ciao for now. Bye. Don't believe, just know. Cymatic TV, turning vibration into reality.